Coach, I hold in my hands the hat. Famous in uh, song and tale here in Baton Rouge. Talk a little bit about that nickname. I, I, uh, I have no idea what, you know, what's, you know, captured the imagination of uh, the people, but it's just a simple ball cap that you wear to work, and it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that I, uh, you know, the head coaches that I worked for and played for, they wore, and so I just kind of, uh, that, that habit became mine. And uh, they, the idea that there are some special ingredients underneath the hat, the, the idea that uh, uh, the guy that wears it uh, might take a risk now and then, I don't mind that uh, folklore. Well, it's funny you should say that because you have never been shy about a lot of things, whether it's taking chances on the field, being outspoken off of it. Is that, is that all by design or is that just sort of your personality? Well, I, I think the, uh, the things that I try to do are percentage calls. And, uh, you know, if I have a, a player or a play or an advantage, you know, it's a call that I want to make. I think you, you go back, you find there's some fourth downs that I punted too. Um, I, uh, and I, and I don't think that there's, uh, I think there's an honesty, uh, with the, uh, with the position. And, uh, when called to, uh, to be honest and, and represent, I, I think I've, I'm not shy from that. Well, you talk very passionately about this university. If I had a son that I was getting recruited to come play college football, what would be the pitch? What would you, how do you sell somebody on coming to LSU? Well, it's a, uh, you come on campus and you see this place and you, uh, you realize that it's got a great education. It has every um, academic want answered. And then the, the, the beauty of the state of Louisiana and the passion that surrounds this football program, 92.5, there's no finer game day environment. Um, and we play young players. And young players, talented players come to the field here. And frankly, uh, all of that and an opportunity to win a national championship, it just has everything. Regardless of how much you win, regardless of how well your teams are doing, regardless of how many players you're graduating, there's always someone out there that's ready to criticize you. How on earth do you live with that? Well, I, uh, I'm the most critical of myself. And, and I promise you that uh, uh, the things that, that we do within this program, the, the things that I do, I, I look at it and, and, I, uh, and I judge it and I, uh, I work to, to be the best. So I enjoy the fact that the people that come into that stadium expect LSU to do well and win. The guys in those helmets expect to do well and win. I think it's kind of a, a, a great mindset. And with that comes criticism. I, uh, I don't listen to it. People that stand on the outside don't necessarily have say. And uh, even though their criticisms can be very valid, they, it just doesn't matter. It was unfortunate that I had to address my team um, with this information this morning. Uh, but that being done, I think we'll be ready to play. There'll be no questions from me. I represent me in this issue. Please ask me after. I'm busy. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Rumors are swirling you're going to Michigan. The ESPN comes out and says it and you go on, on one of the most important days of your life, you take time out to set the record straight, and, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, you do that for your team and for your players. The, uh, I was always raised that the most important piece is the team, and uh, the responsibility of any coach uh, to get out of the way and let his team play, uh, to remove any distractions is certainly a coach's responsibility. That day was it was very simple. I had a great team, I had quality men, and I wanted to get out of the way. I didn't want to be a distraction. And uh, I, uh, I wanted him to play for a title, knowing that the coach on the sideline was squarely on their side. Coach, with all the success that you've had here and, and hopefully will continue to have, I gotta ask you, how, how does one man impose his will on a big, gigantic, moving target like LSU football? How do you how do you get everybody and everything moving in, in the positive direction that you want it to continue to move in? I think Louisiana State University has a, uh, a, uh, a great uh, momentum and it's, uh, it's because of a great school and a great state. The want to be at the top, the want to play for championships, 
the want to win is really in every facet of this football program. And from the academic support to the uh, training room to the, the coaches that uh, are tirelessly preparing game plans, um, you know, I think we're all on the same page. Uh, the key is just, just put them in position and let them play. That's great. You've been so generous with your time today. I can't thank you enough. Great, Thanks thank for you. Us I, be I appreciate you. you being with will us. You do, I mean, will you do me one more favor? Sure. Tell me to have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> He's Les Miles. And who is he? He's the LSU football coach. And who else is he? My dad.